Hi. I am here today. It's Mental Health Awareness Week, and I'm just going to give, I guess, a couple seconds to see if anyone's able to join. And I, um, I thought I would pop on, and I'm, I'm going to do my best this week to come on every day and talk, talk to people about the different ways that you can go beyond the label as you know maybe you don't know that this is my book beyond the label and and it took me about I'm gonna say it was seven years is is what it took me to write this book and a lot of the struggles for me came from getting over myself getting over the stigma and the shame of, of coming out with the, the label of um, bipolar disorder type 1 and really being stuck in the stigma and shame of that label. And so in order to move beyond that, I ended up doing a coaching process with Nancy Levin, who is who does something called Jump and Your Life. Well, her book is called Jump and Your Life Will Appear. She's written a few books. That's one of them. The other book I, I recommend of hers is called Worthy. Um, so it was through her work that I was able to get over my fears of, of coming out um, about, hi Chrissy, I'm not too technologically sound here so I don't know how to type and respond at the same time so I'll just acknowledge you verbally. Um, so. For the third attempt, I've just finished reading a book called The Untethered Soul. And a, and a colleague of mine, um, well, first of all, actually, my friend Diana gave me this book. And I started to read it, and it just didn't really land. And so I put it away, and then I tried to read it again a couple of years ago, and same thing, just put it away. And then my after I finished writing my book, um, one of my friends, Joanne McCarthy, who's an amazing naturopathic doctor, she suggested or she mentioned that she was reading the untethered soul and how much it resonated with her so i picked up the book again and i have made it through this book this time very happy about that because actually um, it's exactly what i needed to read and i was able to to move through it and uh, and so i just wanted to share with you a passage in this book that really connected with me and the book that I wrote called Beyond the Label. So this is from Un The Untethered Soul and it's chapter 13. I had it marked and now I've lost my spot. Okay, here it is. So this chapter, and I have to put my glasses on because I cannot see. This chapter is called Far, Far Beyond. So remember again, the title of my book is Beyond the Label. So this is chapters called Far, Far Beyond, and it goes, ultimately, the word beyond captures the true meaning of spirituality. In its most basic sense, going beyond means going past where you are. It means not staying in your current state. When you constantly go beyond yourself, there are no more limitations. There are no more boundaries. Limitations and boundaries only exist at the places where you stop going beyond. If you never stop going beyond boundaries and limitations, then you never go beyond the sense of a restricted self. So to go beyond, you must keep going past the limits that you put on things. And this requires changes at the core of your being. So for myself, this, this biggest issue for me was the stigma and shame of being labeled with bipolar disorder. That was really the, the big black dark scar that I stuffed so deep down inside that I lived in absolute fear of somebody finding out about it. And, and the irony of, of bipolar disorder is it kind of, especially mania, it kind of begs to be seen. It's pretty hard to hide mania. And so my hope for you today is that you, if you're 
struggling with your mental health, if you're depressed, if you're feeling like life is not worth living, if you're riddled with anxiety, if you're struggling with your weight, if you're um, if you're an addict in, in any way, shape or form, my hope is that you are able to go beyond the limits that are placed either on you by society or that you're placing on yourself because you don't think you can do it. And here's the thing. I'm here to tell you that you can do this. You can do this. I'm, I'm part of several discussion groups around bipolar disorder and the conversation in these groups is very, very limiting. It's, it's very much the medical model, the Western medical model, which is um, that, and again, I don't, I don't want to get into this whole discussion right now about pharmaceuticals, so, but for me, it's disheartening because really that is the key message is that you are no different than a diabetic and you have to take your medication every single day, otherwise you will relapse. And, and listen, I've been working through this for over 30 years and I've been very quiet and, and I've been quiet because I've been afraid to, to step out into my, into my truth. So as we launch into Mental Health Awareness Week this week, this marks the 10th anniversary of my last manic episode. So the last time I experienced mania was in 2008. And so for the last decade, I have been free of that. I don't feel that I'm completely out of the woods, though, because I had a, another decade from 1990, 1990 to 2000. That decade as well was mania free. Now, the difference between that decade and this decade is for 70% of that other decade from 1990 to 2000, I was very depressed and I had two very serious suicide attempts. And so this most recent decade, um, there was a suicide attempt in, in 2009, which I may talk about more. I am not usually, haven't been public about that, but, um, but I've been mania free. So time will tell, time will tell. And I, I really hope that I can live this next decade mania free. I really hope that what I've ta talked about in my book, Beyond the Label, I really hope and pray and believe in my heart of hearts that, that I have cracked this code and that in doing so, others can also live a mentally well and stigma free life as they move forward. So that's my message today uh, about basically moving beyond, about looking at where you might be limiting yourself and seeing if you can, if you can stretch yourself, seeing if you can make that phone call to a friend. If you're suffering, maybe you can reach out to somebody who you know you, who is a support person for you, or if you know somebody in your life that's suffering, maybe you can reach out to them. And, and I'm talking more than just a phone call, perhaps. Maybe you actually have to physically knock on their door, take them a nice meal, or ask them to go for a walk, or sit with them and bring them some tea and make tea. I mean, get creative. But go a little further, stretch yourself. A little bit further. So for myself, stretching myself a little bit further is doing what I'm doing now, is getting on technology, which is not what I love to do, because I'm, I'm uh, pretty anti-technology actually, but uh, it's a necessary evil, I guess. So here I am. And so thank you for sticking it out and listening in, and I'll be back tomorrow with a little bit bit of an introduction to the uh, macro systems that are involved in regaining your mental health and then I hope to talk the rest of the week about the rest of the 10 steps that are involved in, in, in regaining
regaining your mental health. So I now am going to figure out how to end this video and we'll look forward to talking to you tomorrow.